guys so welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for being here uh, my name is latrice i had vsg surgery july 9th 2024 and so this is my three month post-op video just to give you guys a few updates um and i have been trying to share what i eat each week and i will continue to do that if you guys find that helpful i just wanted to start the video off with the Shein try on haul i just bought a few clothing items um because none of my clothes fit and so i'm gonna show that first and then at the end of the video i just talk a little bit so this is the first outfit and i'll be sure to uh put a little picture of what it's supposed to look like versus what i got and so this is a 2XL and I was a little bit ambitious and it's like, oh, maybe I can do 2XL, but this is actually too small. Um, so I should have gotten a bigger size, but I'll definitely fit into it if, um, if and when. I'll definitely fit into it when I lose a little more weight. Um, but this is this outfit. I don't know, the pants are kind of see-through a little bit. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. This top would be fine, but I don't know. To me, maybe not. So this is the next outfit. It's a 2XL Shein Curve. Um, and it fits different than the other outfit I just had on the sleeve at the very, uh, this part seems to be baggy. I don't know if it's just the material, um, but this is the outfit. The pants fit a lot better. My only critique with Shein's clothing, of course, is just cheap clothing, but like their pants and stuff are so thin, um, but you get what you pay for, obviously. Um, but this is the outfit. It's a lot more comfortable than the one I just had on. A little more room, and I, I tend to like stuff a little more baggy. But it's comfortable. Kind of feels like pajamas. And so this is a dress sweater combo. Um, I will probably wear like some shapewear with this. Um, but the shirt says, nope, not today. Um, and this is a dress that comes with it. Um, but I can wear some shapewear with this. Um, and um, I ain't got no shoes, so y'all get these socks. <laughs> but this is the outfit, this is a size 22. Um, on their website, it's a size 22 slash 5X. So their sizes are interesting, but size 22, um, I would probably just wear this sweater with some jeans or some leggings, honestly. But this is the outfit. So this is a dress. I don't have on any shapewear, um, but if I were to wear this, I would definitely put on some shapewear. Um, but not looking too bad without it, y'all. So. This is decent. Um, I thought I'd put on some hoodies with it, but. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. So it has a little slit on the side. All right, girl. I'm feeling sexy. Okay. <laughs> Team too much. Oh, I failed to mention this is a 2XL. All of the clothes are from Shein and I will put the picture in the size on here somewhere. Um, but yeah, so this is just a hoodie situation. Peace, love, coffee. Um, so, I mean, you can just wear it with some leggings or jeans. These are the high-waisted pants. Um, and then this is the 
hoodie. All of it is a 2XL. Um, and I figured, you know, probably some of this could have been maybe a size bigger, but um, with the rate in which I'm losing weight, I thought it would be best to just get a smaller size and go from there. So it's supposed to be like a off the shoulder type of sweater, but I should have got a bigger size. And then these are some high waisted jeans, but I should have got these in a bigger size as well. They both for two X, but it was a struggle to get these jeans on and it's not giving at all. And it's uncomfortable, unfortunately. Um, so I should have sized up in the jeans, but uh, I think it'll fit better uh, once I lose a little bit more weight, but it's not terrible. Um, but I think I'll feel better if the fit, if it fit a little bit better. Like if this were a little more baggy and I'll put the picture on there of what it could look like. But this is the outfit. Um, so this is just a sweatshirt. It says perfectly imperfect. It's a size 22. I just kept on the same high-waisted jeans. Um, so yeah, this is a 22 slash 5X. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, so I'm okay with it being baggier and within the, and the sleeves fit pretty good. So I think this is a keeper. So let's get started. So, uh, I feel really good. Um, the past since my last update, no major changes. Um, and I think I mentioned this in my last video, I had my appointment with uh, the nurse practitioner for uh, from my bariatric team and the appointment went well. Um, I was approved to start eating uh, like pasta, bread and rice and in moderation, of course, I have to make sure that I meet my protein goal before, you know, eating those items. Um, and I, I have been eating very little um, just because um, I can only eat so little of it because it, it fills you up really quickly. Um, and so I've had pasta, but um, I do make sure I eat my protein and my vegetables first. And then I've had like maybe like two or three pieces of pasta noodle noodles um, for rice. I've had like probably like a teaspoon, tablespoon of rice. So it is like a very small portion. I'm still at the point where I, I would rather eat like cauliflower rice versus regular rice just because I can have more of it. Um, and that just makes me feel better to see it as a complete meal versus like, oh, I can only have a spoonful of that. Um, but that's just a personal preference for me. Um, for as far as bread, I, I bought some keto bread. And so I've been able to eat half of a slice of keto bread with like some eggs and bacon or, or something like that. And um, I eat like the mission keto friendly tortillas. I can eat one whole tortilla. So um, those are kind of some of the swaps that I've been doing. Um, food wise, I'm trying to, you know, make a variety of food um, just cause I like my food to look good to me. So, um, and I don't want to keep eating the same things over and over. So I do try to find ways to make food that I enjoy, um, make it a little bit more healthy to fit my dietary needs. Um, and I know Thanksgiving is coming up and I'm thinking like, cause I usually try to post like some Thanksgiving recipes and I came across like a, a cornbread dressing recipe cause dressing is like my all time favorite side dish. And so I hope to make a keto friendly cornbread dressing cause I don't know. I, I I want dressing for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna have to do a few test runs to see how that works out for me. But I'm planning my Thanksgiving meal at this point to see how I can make it make swaps for me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm off track. Um, what else is going on? I've had a little bit of acid reflux. It's not major. I do take um, the omeprazole tablet or have you probably sick. 
uh, I take that to help with the acid reflux, but um, I was told that, you know, eventually the goal is to taper me off of that because your body can become reliant on it. And so I've been trying to take that every other day versus every day, um, which seems to be going okay. It, I really only notice it in the morning time. It's the worst in the morning time for whatever reason. So <clears throat> that's that. But the morning time is just always a struggle for me in general. Like I, I usually get full a lot quicker in the morning or um, I, I don't know. I'm My stomach just is not able to tolerate a lot of stuff in the morning. So um, it's still a work in progress for me. And um, what else is going on? Period. So um, for those of you who are new here, um, I have PCOS. And so I've had PCOS since like the age of 20 or whatever. And so <clears throat> I've always, I've been on birth control since the age of 17. So that's well over 15 years, well over 15 years, <laughs> closer to 20. Uh, but um, yeah, I've always been on birth control. Initially it was just, you know, just as a protective thing. But then like I started having irregular periods and then I was diagnosed with PCOS. And so I was taking the birth control to help regulate my period because I wasn't having periods for like, five months plus span of time. And um, even before I had surgery, I hadn't had a period in over a year. Um, so I was taking birth control to try to help with that. And so after surgery, I stopped taking my birth control just because I wanted to see if my body would be able to kind of recalibrate recal or whatever word you want to use, like kind of a reset to see if my hormones could kind of get back together or whatever it needs to be done. <laughs> and so I've had a period every month since surgery. It, it's been like clockwork. And while it was nice not having one for a very long time, I'm also very grateful that um, it's been regular without the use of birth control or anything like that. So I have a consistent period now. And so I don't have... Let's see, I have my next follow-up with my OBGYN um, February, where they're gonna do like the annual exam and all that good stuff. And so we'll see if, you know, there are any concerns with like my pap smear and things like that. Uh, Cause I do have a history of, you know, ir not irregular, of uh, abnormal pap smears. So we'll see if there are changes with that as well. So period has been consistent since surgery. Um, my eating, I'm able to eat more food. I'm able to eat about three, three and a half. Some, depending on what it is, could be up to four ounces of food. Um, and so I, they equip, that's equivalent to about a third to a, a half of a cup, if you wanna measure in cups. So yeah, I'm able to eat a little bit more. Um, what else is new? Um, I haven't experienced any hair loss. I did could get a question about hair loss. I haven't experienced any hair loss. And so um, my hair is, is pretty thick in general. So even if I did lose hair, I really don't know because I have a full head of hair and I did get some color added and I haven't experienced any hair loss since getting it colored either. So um, no hair loss. Um, I feel like I have more energy. I'm still trying to work out three to four times a week. So I'll go to like my water aerobics classes. Um, and then I, a few times I work out at home during uh, like the beach body video. So like, um, I'm a fan of Shanti. So I do a lot of like T25. I've done a few insanity videos. I do like the size dance routines. Um, I'm trying to get better at going to the gym to do some weightlifting because I know that I need some strength training. But what I like about the Shanti, like uh, Insanity videos or even like his T25 and some of the other videos he have, it does like a lot of strength training with like just like your body weight. And I've been using like some resistance bands at home as well. So I'm trying to do more of that. And um, what else is going on? Somebody did ask, like, did my shoe size change after surgery? Nope, I still wear the same size shoes. So um, I wear an 11 in women's shoes. 
and I have wide feet or I've always had a history of wide feet. Um, no, my shoe shot, my shoe size, that's a tongue twister. My shoe size has not changed since surgery. Um, my shoes fit a lot better. I will say that my feet feel a whole lot better um, because I used to have significant issues with my feet as well due to, um, I'm just gonna assume and what they told me, just being overweight and having flat feet. So I haven't had any issues with my feet. Every so often it's, it's usually just like my right foot, but I'm not sure what that's about. It could be that I need more supportive shoes, um, but I do still wear like the custom shoe insert that was made for me when I was going to PT. Um, what else is going on? As far as clothes sizes, and I did like the try on haul for you guys. And so um, I went to Shein just to buy some cheap clothes because if I'm going to have to buy clothes frequently, it ain't a point of me spending a whole bunch of money. So um, the sizes on their website, I, I purchased like a 2XL of, of the Shein Curve clothes and 2XL and like size 22. And those seem to fit okay for now. And what else? Um, and I don't want to make this video too long because I feel like I keep y'all well updated. Um, how much did you lose, girl? And so I am officially <laughs> 100 pounds down. So my weight is 262 as of today. Today is October 9th, 2024. I am officially 262. So that is actually 101 pounds down since the beginning of this year. Um... Uh, yeah, I've lost a total of 101 pounds, um, which feels awesome to, you know, be at, you know, my current weight. And, and it's crazy to think that I, I've lost 100 anything. Um, so I'm really happy and overjoyed with that. Um, my highest weight was 363. My surgery weight was 320. And now I am 262 officially down 101 pounds y'all so yeah officially down 101 pounds uh so i've lost 58 pounds since surgery i lost 43 pounds prior to surgery so yeah 58 pounds since surgery a total of 101 pounds i i ain't got nothing else to say after that um but <laughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoy enjoy this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.